Okay, let's look also on other options. Right here, we have it collisions and collision grid. Collisions by default is enabled, and this is how the particles will uh, work with other objects. However, you need to enable collisions inside the particles as well. For example, right here, I have it cube. Okay, and if we um, start generating, let me go back to our material. Okay, I want just single. Go back, very compute. And if we watch, you can see the particles that are passing through our object. So they do not detect any collisions. To detect, we need to go inside the cube, right click, and enable collisions. So at this point, if we go and can render, you can notice our particles detecting cube and if I can. But again, when it's hit the ground, you can see it's fall through the ground. To do otherwise, we need to go inside the ground and enable collisions for the ground as well. In this case, when the particles go down, they also detect on our ground as well. Okay, this way we can enable collisions. Tolerance, it's how accurate. The bigger number, the less tolerance, so the particles may go a little bit more below. Um, this effect tolerance, you can change it. For example, if you want tolerance for the water in one particle, if it sink in, you probably want to change the tolerance in this. Uh, by 001, it's very accurate, and it's work most time with collisions um, very nicely. As well, you have options to collide with transparent surfaces. So if we, for example, set total transparency for our cube. Okay, I don't want to animate. Okay. Currently you can see it's still collide. However, if we're going and modify options, you can see it starts falling through. We'll be in a second. Okay, right here as example. You can see it's going pass through our uh, total transparency objects. It does help when you start creating maybe um, some point of reference or null objects. Sometimes you want to enable. Most time um, you probably won't leave it detect collisions with a transparent object. Okay, next we have collisions with displacement in OpenGL. So if we have some displacement in an object, you want to accurately effect with this so you can enable but again by default um, if you uncheck it's work very well and most time you don't need it enable it will take a little bit longer time to calculate on displacement but if again you're closer and you want to see water going around this displacement rock you want to enable these options so it will be more accurate going Next, we have also collision with another particles. Currently, the, par the particles does not collide with each other. They do not detect. And you know what? Let's um, kind of look on this a little bit closer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going